Although we rarely celebrate the work of the Grim Reaper, we will happily make an exception for the Mini Pace Man. While the first generation of the Countryman crossover sold in sufficient volume to warrant development of the successor we're driving here, its ungainly, ugly, two door pseudo coupe sister found more ridicule than buyers. Mini confirms that it won't be making another Pace Man, and for that we are genuinely grateful. We'd suggest burying it in a garlic filled coffin with a stake through its heart. The Pace Man's demise makes this new Countryman the priciest Mini, performance specials aside, with its range cherry and purpose backed by a serious expansion in size. The first Countryman was big when compared with the Bija Mini hardtop of a day, but it was overly compact even by compact crossover standards. Owners and potential buyers told Mini's customer clinicians they wanted it to be bigger and more practical which seems like a strange thing to hear from people in the market for a car named Mini, but it also explains why the new 2017 Countryman has grown by a significant 8.5 inches in length and 2.9 inches in wheelbase. Yet the expansion isn't immediately obvious when you look at it, the proportions being almost identical to the old cars. With the exception of the added length of the rearmost side window. This second-generation Countryman looks as if it were styled with a photocopier's scale conversion. The new Countryman retains the plastic wheel large cladding that automotive designers use as visual shorthand from all great SUVs, its modest ground clearance precludes anything but the most gentle off-road use. Under the surface, though, much changes. This Countryman follows the rest of the Mini clan by switching to BMW's new front-wheel drive architecture, specifically the UKL2 platform that also underpins the BMW X1, which is this Mini's more straight-laced cousin. The engine lineup won't burden US buyers since only two, both shared with other Minis, will be available initially. The entry-level Cooper employs a turbocharged 1.5-liter three-cylinder producing 134 horsepower while the Cooper S brings a 189-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter 4, which is basically the smaller engine with another cylinder. Europe gets diesel options including a three-cylinder, but there are no plans to bring these to America. <laughs> Damn phones, Babylon's came